What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to bring you a quick unboxing and overview of my new computer case. This is the Pure Base 500DX by Be Quiet. This is an upgrade from their Pure Base 500. So it's basically a mesh designed ATX mid tower case. Now, previously I had the Corsair 280 or Air 280X. Uh, you can probably see it behind me. I'll throw a video up. I actually did a review on that. So I'll check that out if you want. Uh, but that case, while it looked gorgeous and I thought it was one of the better looking cases out there, I had the RGB version, but I'm going away from RGB lighting altogether just because it's just too flashy, too much for me. So I went with this case uh, and it's a, about a $90 to $110 case. The price tends to fluctuate pretty often. I paid, I think, $94 for it on Amazon. The link will be below if you would like to purchase it. But I needed a case that was going to be able to move a little bit more airflow. So the Corsair 280X, it has a tempered glass where the fans are actually at. So this cannot move a whole lot of air in it. So I just wanted a more simple, minimalistic uh, case that can move a little bit more air. So this uh, came into mind. I had a Leon Lee one also picked out one of their uh, cases, a Fractal S2 Messify, I think is another one that I had uh, look, looked into. Uh, but that being said, let's jump in, get into it. I'm going to throw this up on the desk, that way you can get a better idea. Uh, but I'm really excited about this. This is the white version because I have a white desk. Most of my room is white or uh, other end table over there is white. So I thought I would go with that. So let's jump in, see what you guys get. I again bought this at Amazon. If you'd like to purchase it, you can check it out below. At this, uh, you can see that it does have a tempered glass panel here on the side, which we will get into. I probably should have uh, you know, took this tape off beforehand, uh, but this will give you an idea of actually what it looks like. Uh, it seems to be pretty well packaged, at least when it arrived. It didn't seem to be damaged or anything from the outside of the box. All right, so that gives you an idea of the size compared to a 32 inch monitor back there. I don't really like to see this foam, but it does look like it is recyclable. So that's nice. It doesn't seem like the most, the softest foam, but you did get a little soft piece there. So it doesn't look to be damaged or anything. Uh, it does have a little bit of black on it with the light, which is fine. That's something I'm generally okay with. I'm pretty sure I have this backwards. All the plastic off. So you're going to get your manual here. Uh, again, this is probably not anything that you need to really look over, but it does have a decent amount of uh, pictures and just generally how to arrange things if you want. There's a lot of custom customization within this uh, case, at least from what uh, everything I have read. So that's the side with the tempered glass. So it does look pretty nice. I do like the overall look of it. Uh, again, it's white because everything in my room's white. You do have a magnetic dust filter here on the top. I'm not really sure how I feel about the black outline, but it does have uh, magnets on it, so it will go in there fairly easy. Look at the front of the case. It does have LED lights here on the front, but those are easy to turn off. So that's uh, something I will probably do. You can control it with a little light, uh, which I'll go over the top AIO over here when we get to that. Uh, but looking at the this side, let's go ahead and take this off. So I've already noticed one thing. I unscrewed this and I noticed that some of the paint already chipped off. That's probably not bolting well for the overall build quality of this. If it could focus on that, you can see the shape, the paint already chipped off, which is a little disappointing. So you do have some uh, noise dampening, dampening there. But overall, it seems nice, but I would be careful with this just based off of it already has a chip mark on it. Hopefully you guys can see that, but that's the side panel. So looking here, you do have plenty of ties here to actually tie everything down. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. Uh, so you do have plenty of zip ties here, plenty of cable management. Uh, put some two and a half inch drives here if you want to do that. Uh, it does have a hard drive cage here at the bottom to put your hard drives in and see what kind of accessories you get with this. Probably not anything too spectacular or over the top, but. 
probably some zip ties. Zip ties and screws, basically installation screws. I assume the standoffs are already installed because I don't see any actually on in here. So I assume the standoffs are likely already installed. So, which is perfectly fine. But overall, pretty happy with this. There tends to be uh, some decent amount of spots to mount things. And you do have screws here. So if you want to take this off, you can take this off. And it looks like you can take the bottom hard drive tray out too if you want. Uh, you do have some rubber feet here for your, where your power supply sits, which is nice. Again, it's a be quiet case, so their main focus is on it being silent. So looking at the back of the case, so it does come with a, I think this is a 140 millimeter fan. Uh, this does come with their uh, Pure Wing 2, which is their little bit cheaper fan. They have a little bit more expensive ones, uh, but you do get what looks like three. So you have two here at the top and one in the front, and I do believe these are 140 millimeter fans, which is nice because I prefer 140 millimeters. I think they're a little bit quieter and they move a little bit more air. So that is a good feature to actually have. And you can take those out, your expansion slots. I'm not gonna mess with that currently. And let's check the top of the case out actually. So looking at your top, uh, you have a USB 3.0, which is nice. I don't ever, I don't have a whole lot of things that are USB 3.0. Our USB type C, so I don't know if I'll use that. US, regular standard USB 3, headphone, microphone, and power button. And then this is actually what controls the LED lights on it, which you can turn off, which is something that I like. Uh, front of it, the mesh, uh, this does come off and there is a mesh filter in here. So uh, you can take this off and clean that out. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want the video to be two hours long. I am doing this video in 4K, so I'm curious to see what the quality is. These feel like plastic screws. That's something to, uh, I don't know, think about, but nope, they definitely are not plastic. So nope, they're metal screws. Nothing too special there. I do kind of wish they would uh, stay in there versus just popping out and rolling around. So I wish they were captive screws, but Looks pretty nice. There is some protection film over this, so again, I'll take that off at a later time, but there is a little protection there. This feels heavy, so be careful with that because it does feel fairly heavy. So look at the inside of this. Uh, there does seem to be your standard ATX standoffs already pre-installed. Uh, you do have a shroud here for your hard drive or for your uh, power supply, so it will hide all that and for your hard drive. So it will basically hide all your cables that you don't want people to see and be visible. So you do have plenty of fan. These are P, these are not PWM fans. Now that I see, now that I look at that, these are just standard fans. That's kind of disappointing. I wish they were PWM fans, but that's something I can't control. Uh, I may upgrade to those in the future. I really thought these were PWM fans, but it does not look like they are. I have no idea what that's for. Oh. Looks like that's for the front header, header. So I am kind of disappointed they're not PWM fans. That was that'd be my only negative. Uh, but again, these are the Pure Wing 140 millimeter fans. It's nice that it comes with 340 millimeters, which you don't always get. But again, they're not PWM, so that's a little little disappointing to me. But uh, you have some nice feet here at the bottom, nice rubber feet, and you do have a dust filter also in the bottom. So plenty of dust filters, this thing is not going to get dirty or uh, have any issue there. Uh, again, you have mesh in the front and then you have a mesh filter uh, also to help prevent dust from getting into your system, which I like. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this Be Quiet logo there. Uh, it's hopefully you can see, but it'll be okay. I don't really see a problem with that. It doesn't look like you can mount any fans down here. It just looks like a general kind of mesh. You could probably mount one down there if you wanted, uh, but I don't really see a purpose of why you would. Uh, but overall, pretty happy with the build quality of this. I wish I could have got the Leon Lee one also to uh, really see that in person. Micro Center had them in stock, but when I went there to try to look at it, they were actually out. So I didn't get a chance to see that, but uh, these are all for your front, front panel stuff. 
It's nice they already have this stuff already kind of cable tied out for you. And let's go ahead and take the hard drive cage out. I do have some standard hard drives, so I do plan on actually using this, but looks like you can mount two in there. So again, more rubber noise dampening, kind of silencing there when you uh, mount them, which is nice. And uh, some more there. Actually, those are metal, but should be a fairly quiet system, which is one reason why I got it is that it was minimalistic, quiet. Won't fall out different. The front looks nice and it does have an LED strip here at the top. So there is an LED strip here at the top, which you can turn on and off by that front. It does have an, uh, like an RGB header if you want to do it with like some type of controller, but I'll probably just cycle through. I do kind of like a white color, so if they have that option, I may do that. Uh, but overall, pretty happy with this. A uh, little bit more noise dampening would have been would have been nice. You only get the noise dampening here on this side panel. Again, the other one's tempered glass, so there's no way to really noise dampen that. But it does feel like good quality, heavy, thick glass, so I assume this is going to be a pretty quiet case. So that's it. That is my unboxing and quick overview of the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX. Hopefully I made the right case choice. Not super happy with the fans, but I may actually sell these fans off and get some Noctua black fans, which are very similar in color. They may have some, some fans that are uh, more neutral color now, so I'll probably end up going with those because they do have a fan controller that I'll probably use. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the weekend. Be safe out there. Good holiday. See you guys next time.